Are you ready for the ultimate in ass nuclear? Three, two, one. Oh! oh! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King of Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are too dumb to trip, <laughs> exhausted flip. <sighs> Just go up to one more, please. Do what? Just give me more time for one more. Oh, okay. It's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here today! Today! I am not gonna lie to you, Rubbeck. I am very, very, very lethargic. I am super tired. I've had like three hours of sleep for the last two days and I don't feel that good. But it is not my respiratory system. It is my stomach. Oh, it's my weak link. We had to take precautions to make sure. Yes. <laughs> it's my stomach. I got the rumbly tumblies. The, the, the need to go to sleep. The need for deep, <laughs> deep, long rest. <laughs> Whatever sleep is one step before death, that's what I need right now. Let's work our way over here because either way, no matter what's going on, the point is today the fan mail is here and you guys went absolutely ridiculously warhog. Usually I would say ham, but you guys went absolutely insane. This is an insane amount of fan mail, especially when it comes to the package. I don't think there's ever been this many packages before. And during a pandemic, can we talk about that pandemic is going on and they sent this much stuff? I would usually I'd say I'm surprised because you know that's just insane, but yes. you know, this is the rep pack we're it's about. the red pack. I told you guys last time. The last fan mail was a little bit weak, so I was like, oh, you know, I understand, I understand. But I didn't understand it. You guys respected it, and you guys ended up sending fan mail. Thank you guys so much, because, you know, this is like how I, you know, validate my existence. So thank you guys so much for sending everything. Make sure you guys, if you haven't already, make sure you guys send some fan mail. Address will be on screen. But, you know what time it is, right? Time for you to choose a package. No, I gotta get the knife first. The unboxing knife. Hey, dumbass. Hey, dumbass, wake up. You're talking to me? I said dumbass, right? Okay, I'm just gonna go dick that. I assume that's me then. Okay, okay. What, 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 what do you want? What do you want from me, huh? I'm gonna hold that stupid knife he's got right where he calls it. He's gonna think, oh, I have impotence problems. But the real thing is I'm holding it. I'm holding the knife. <laughs> so you woke me up from my great slumber? I was in a warm blanket, ready for rest, and you woke me up for this? Absolutely. This sounds fantastic. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna get a good seat. Let's do it. The unboxing knife. Alright, <laughs> the unboxing knife! It's okay, we all have performances. <laughs> Some more than others. This is not making a lot of sense though. The... It's taking everything in my existence not to let go of it, Frogger. Let go, let go, let go! Let go. Oh, the unboxing knife! I think I'm losing it, but I have something to break the change of trajectory. Do you hear that? Do you hear that stuff in the room? It looks like a fumbling or something. It smells like latex too. Uh, Don't like this. It has like way more energy than it should have. Alright, if I seem a little bit more sweaty, a little bit more lethargic, <laughs> it's because I'm exhausted today. But Parker, go ahead and pick a package. <laughs> Why well, <I> sleep? <laughs> All right, so you picked the box yet? I have, have. you made a decision? I have. You're probably a very bad person playing video games. Like that guy just goes for every single character before you pick one. <laughs> I mean, the guy who's like, you know, looking out for his team. The guy who's like weighing all his options to make sure what's right for him so he can be the best suited player. Yeah, sometimes you're just trying to chill, you know. <laughs> Choose this one. Okay, this one is from Josh Burgess in Arizona. So let's check it out real quick. I think I might talk to you, Josh, on Twitter. If you do, I don't know, do something on Twitter. Like, no, about. <laughs> and well, I know it was you. All right, let's pop this thing open. Let's see what the first package is from Josh Burgess. Again, guys, as always, thank you guys so much for sending out anything at all. I appreciate it so, so, so much. And it makes it so fun to do these fan mail videos. It's an awesome way to be able to connect with you guys. And I go through every single note, but let's see what Josh sent. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got a note on top. As I said, guys, I read every single note. Let's pull this to the side. Let's see what we got inside of here in a second. He said he was looking at collecting stuff and they ended up finding this. Thought it was a perfect item to send me. So let's see what we got in here. Let's check it out. Oh my God. That is so sweet and sick. That is so dope. Right here, we got a SpongeBob SquarePants ice cream scooper. <laughs> And if you don't have one, you can visit Spongebob and his salty pals at nick.com. They're all really spiteful. Yeah, you know, people tell that talk about me that way. You know, they always say, Marcus and his salty friends. Damn, I hope not. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. And actually, it turns out there's more stuff in here. I thought this was the only thing in there because it seemed pretty empty. But let's check it out. Next up, what do we got here? Do... <laughs> 
Oh, this guy's the... sending the good. A SpongeBob bag clip too? <laughs> okay, we got a Sylveon figure from Pokemon right there. I don't even know what that's from, but that is sick. From Pokemon. Bruh. I know it's from Pokemon. It's from Pokemon. <laughs> the next item we got is a freaking Pokemon Pop Tarts magnet. That is a That's, sweet magnet. That is cool. This child right here, that was me in magnetic form. I've always been attractive. But, boom! That is also a magnet. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Josh Burry. That's gonna stay right there. All right, so that is the first package out the way. What is the next one? I'm gonna go with this one right here. <laughs> there we go. All right, what do we have here? No way, dude. Ooh! <laughs> oh, dude, what are these? So right here we have a Bulbasaur. But you know what that says? Japanese. No, Bulbasaur. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out and see what's inside of here though. We have, oh, oh. <laughs> dude, that is so sick. Sick. Oh my god, that is scary. That's like Bulbasaur if he was trying to eat your family. <laughs> that is freaking sweet though. Let's check out the freaking Pikachu one. Why not? And then right here we got the Pikachu, dude. Look at that thing's tail. So it turns out this is from Alien. Alien versus Predator. They found a way to make everything look grosser. Look at the back of his ears. They have cavities. <laughs> you can see his insides. I mean, God, just grotesque, but in a sick way. Yes, but if it was Pokemon, would you pick this as your starter? Here's what? your starter I, choices. Okay. Here's okay. your starter choices. All right. We have Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. Pokemon, Pikachu, the rat mouse Pokemon, or Charmander, the fire salamander. What the hell is that? <laughs> I think that's like Mario's hand on fire or something. What? Do you even have a Charmander? <laughs> I didn't have a fire type. <laughs> but Mario, Mario, what? <laughs> Which one would you choose? I'm going with Mario. <laughs> I guess I'll go with Pikachu. <laughs> I mean, he's maimed and still moving. I'm going with Mario. So that one came from Andrew Cardone. Thank you so much. This next one we got here is from Amazon as well to King Reptar. Let's see what we got here. I always like when you guys put King Reptar in the box. Instead of Marcus Jones, just because, like, you know, we family. You don't call me Marcus Jones. Like, what are you, my friend? Fourth grade teacher? <laughs> oh, really? Mine, mine called me dumbass. Mine called me lover. <laughs> <laughs> but what inside here we got? Okay, I like the sheath on it already. But let's check it out. We got what is this? That is sick. There was no actual name on this, but thank you ever sent that. Thank you so much. This one came from Chris Phelps. Let's check it out. I love the shape of this one already. Okay, we got a katana. All right, that is sweet. Wait, that's got a bend to it. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? We got the curved katana blade. What the? <laughs> this is the sword you use if like you want to hit something a little bit faster than you thought you would. <laughs> this has to be from an anime of some kind. I don't know. You guys in the comments will have to let me know, but I ha I'd have to say this has to come from some kind of anime. Go ahead and feel a blade on that though. Seems very sturdy. But Ooh, that's the, sharp. But feel the weight on it though. Because like normally the weight, let's say if you were to hold a katana, normally the weight would be right here. So you're feeling the leverage right here. Right, right. But because the weight's down, it's very odd. Oh. Right? It's, a lot, it's like a... <laughs> it's, it's lighter. It's, it's, it's pulling it down more. Yeah, it's like chopping more. <laughs> we're definitely going to go outside and test this thing out real quick. All right, here we go. The one thing I'd say is a little flimsy because of the design, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Let's find it out. Three, two, one. I almost made it like flexible. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was super flexible and it was weird. Like, I actually <laughs> was like, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, wait, I'm already hitting it. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> it was like slightly ahead of my momentum. That was very uh, unexpected. All right. So, right there, we got the curved katana. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna give one more try. And we're going back inside, guys. You have a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> Alright, Rep This thing is definitely interesting, but I definitely think it has a lot of flexibility to it to where I don't necessarily think it's the best. I'll kind of curve a little bit. <laughs> well, I can fix that back. That's how it is. Brand new. Either way, it's an awesome display piece, so thank you so much. Alright, this next one came from Ryan Schultz. I actually talk to Ryan on Twitter all the time, so thank you so much, man, for sending this out. Greatly appreciated. Let's check out and see what Ryan sent. Right on top? What is this? Oh, it's a SpongeBob box. Oh, shoot, Ryan. Thank you so much. This is way more than you needed to send. <laughs> So Ryan actually told me he was gonna send these before that I actually made the video on ADHD's life, opening these things up. But since I've already opened them all and I have the whole set, I'm gonna keep these ones sealed and maybe we'll do some kind of, if Ryan's okay with it, maybe we'll do some kind of giveaway or something like that with some of the other SpongeBob stuff. I still haven't given away the SpongeBob pop tart. I still haven't given away the SpongeBob plushies. Maybe we'll do some kind of big giant SpongeBob giveaway all at once. If you guys wanna see that, let me know down below. But thank you so much, Ryan. And we got one more thing in here. Hey, oh. that is awesome. 
awesome. Thank you so much, Ryan. We got the notch eared Pikachu. I don't think I even have this one yet, so thank you so much. That is awesome. All right, guys. So now we're going to do a little bit of the fan art. One of my, actually, probably my favorite section of the video is just seeing the work that you guys put in because, as we all know, guys, drawing takes some time, and especially some of the stuff you guys have done here. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into the fan mail, though. All right, so down here we got the freaking Reptar, as usual, with the freaking Froggy Fresh. Just, I want to die, <laughs> but his head just looks like an alien. <laughs> We got, he only gets manly or the bottom. All types of references throughout the year. We got Parker's house, Jeff, literally everything. The SpongeBob pop. This is what happens when Reptar gets his teeth whitened for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Very stoked about it. He's just, yeah, yeah, boy. You see the smile? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what? You're saying the family photo's backlit? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here is a simplistic, awesome Reptar. And as well with this one, I just had to throw both those in there just because they're high quality. They're freaking nice. They put in a lot of work in these. So thank you guys so much. Then over here, we have this freaking epic piece with a giant King Reptar. You know, I love crowns. I don't just love crowns. I like crowns that have fur. Furry crowns. Crowns that have comfort and power. We have both of them. And it also has a freaking Mega Charizard. We have the unboxing knife. And we have, you see this back here? Oh, that's a freaking game. Gone. Yes, that is a Gengar with a Leaf Village headband doing a Shadow Rasengan. That needs to be a canon move. Pokemon Go, Shadow and Jump, Pokemon Collab, Shadow Rasengan, or Shadori Volt Tackle. Oh. <laughs> and then the next guys, and of course you have Stretch Arbus Rock down there, and then of course <laughs> you only see half of his eye, but he sees all of you. <laughs> and then down here, we have a freaking Reptar Pokemon card. The move, I am King Reptar Destroy for freaking over, almost 10,000 freaking life points. And yeah, mini guns. Machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> and then this last one is freaking epic. As you see, there's two SpongeBob Pop decals right there. And this, both those came from Kobe Salzman and he made those decals. These are custom made by him. Thank you so much for those. Those are definitely gonna go on super smooth there. And he also sent these lights. I thought they were just like roasting the fact that the camera lens is always dirty. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's get back into those packages. But thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for all the fan mail. All right, so another package down here that's like bursted open. So we're just gonna move this until we get a chance to open that one. All right, we're gonna have to go to this nail folder section quick. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting up there quick. It's getting pretty big. As the packages start to dwell down, the, the nail folders only rise. <laughs> so right here, this one came from Dexter Holmes. That is a dope name. Like literally, no jokes aside, like, I have literally always wanted, like if I could pick another name, I could be born into another universe and have a different name. I've always had Dexter's like one of the coolest names in the world. Yeah, and you can just be like a little kid, a little Russian kid. Like, you can years. be a Russian genius or a sociopathic murderer. <laughs> All right, but this one came from Dexter Holmes. Let's pop it open. Awesome name, man. We got survival gear. Check it out. Oh, this is a nice freaking case for sure. It's freaking solid. It's not like the cheap like Wish ones. Oh, but yeah. That's American made. <laughs> All right, let's pop this thing open. Nice lashes on it too. I always am looking like anytime I get an extra one of these things, these water tank containers, it's always awesome. But hey, oh my God, this is, I thought it was a survival kit. This is actually an etiquette kit. <laughs> comes with a gold freaking watch. Boy, what I'm kind sure of survival? That's a compass. This is not a compass, Parker. This is what you call a pocket watch <laughs> a with a monocle <laughs> <laughs> yes let's see the english rich culture it's that is a compass <laughs> yeah <it's> a <laughs> Well, you could also use it as a watch if you just kind of like, okay, this is north. The sun's right there. So therefore, it is 428. And therefore, it is daytime. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. All right, so we also just some basic survival essentials in here. We got a little flashlight. Then inside here, we got a little pocket saw. <laughs> we got a pocket knife, a freaking chain pocket. There's everything in here, guys. A little LED light, a freaking whistle. No, no, no. Oh, we gotta keep our rock guard. And then over here, we got the glass breaking pin. That is freaking sweet. All right, thank you so much. That is awesome. All right, so this next package got like bursted open by the UPS, but it came from Martin Salazar, and I already saw him, dude. Boom. <laughs> Don't even tell me if that's cold steel. I don't even have to tell you. Don't put this on your ribs. Oh, it's cold steel? Yeah. <laughs> cold steel. Bro's got frostbite in that skin. Right yeah, there. Really have to go to the hospital. Yeah, probably. If anybody got some warts at home, go get some cold steel and just set them home. <laughs> we got two cold steel blades here. But I noticed that the same blade, it's Barong Machete. Barong Machete. Barack Obama's Machete. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop them open and see if we can do dual wheel. Here we go. Let's pull this thing out. Oh, oh, this is freaking sweet, dude. <laughs> Look at that point. I go outside, we're gonna be trying them out, but I'm gonna have to use them. Dual wheel. You know this is the best part about dual wheel. Yep. Yeah, that part. One more time. <laughs> dual wheel. Now let's go outside and test these. And then we're gonna get to the Nell folder category because you guys went ham with the Nell folder. So we're gonna get to that right after this. But let's go check out the dual wheel of freaking machetes from Cold Steel. All right, so we're testing all the double machetes. Let's do this, ready? Oh! <laughs> 
I expected no less. <laughs> Cold steel, man. Oh. Oh. That is cold steel for you right there. That was just rude. I don't think they're really throwables. Let's try that real quick. All right, gonna find out if it's throwable. Let's try it. Oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> Oh yeah! An imbalance in between the crack. That is dope. That was that was freaking <laughs> sick. All right, it is very throwable. Probably got a lot more energy than I had. You could throw it easier, but I did it. <laughs> Here are some of the outtakes. That is what feeling like you're gonna die feels like. <laughs> Alright, so now we are getting to one of your guys' favorite parts of the fan mail, the Nello folders. That is when it's just pretty much just random. I have no clue what could be in any of those because you can get freaking weapons in them. You can get freaking TVs in a Manel folder. You can get freaking fire in a Manel folder. Like literally still still flam flaming. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Manel folders. Amazon will ship anything they can in them. Let's get started with this big one right here on top. Let's see what we got here. Name it came from? Came from Amazon. No name on it. So let me check out and see what we got inside of here though. Hey, dude. Oh, Oh, that's sick. What is up with all this freaking cartoon? What is up with my voice right now? Why am I talking like this? What is wrong with me? Why am I why am I doing this? Why am I getting so much Cartoon Network stuff right now? That is so sick. Thank you guys so much. I am a huge Cartoon Network fan. I honestly think it's un, it's under underwhelming. I don't get enough credit or oh. it's underwhelming the amount of credit that I get for Cartoon Network love because I love Cartoon Network a lot. Like it's one of my that's almost like, whoa. The whole set. There's a whole what? set. What? There's a whole set. So right here we have the Titans vinyl of Finn, but if you look in the Side, there's a whole set ADHD like video coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad that I looked to make sure I found the note. You know who this came from? The man, the legend, Zachary. Smith. That's that's him. Yes, Zachary Smith. Thank you so much, man. You like literally said stuff like almost every fan mail. So thank you so much. You're like a true, true, true deep member of the Rep Pack, and thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting everything that goes on here. Genuinely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much, man. This one was used and abused. <laughs> <laughs> this was when Jeff barely opened the company. <laughs> Let's see what we got inside of here. Oh no way! Dude, that is my very own whip. <laughs> Not a lot of people have said that before. <laughs> that is the sick. Second, this is the second time I've said that. <laughs> the first one was something that was way over 40 and I shouldn't have been with. What? <laughs> King Reptar whip. We have a literally a green and black whip. Dude, that, that is, is so sick. That is sturdy. Oh my god. Like, is this handmade or what is this? There is a loader. A what? I said, I was trying to say loader, but hired partner, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, a, like a seizure. <laughs> a loner. A loner. <laughs> this is actually made by John Semple. And look at the bottom, dude. It actually has his initials down there. Oh, that is. <laughs> and he made this as the official King Reptar whip. It took him 14 hours to make this. John, I cannot, I mean, there's nothing I can say that can freaking pay back for freaking this, but thank you so, so much. The fact that you enjoy the content here, enough to freaking spend 14 hours on a freaking bullet for me. Thank you so much, man. I, I try so hard, you know, tired or not, sick or not, frustrated or not, to make sure I'm here for you guys. And it makes me very, very happy to see you guys freaking send anything like this with everything going on in the world. So thank Thank you, John, so much. Definitely, I'm gonna be using this bull whip soon. But gonna do it in a separate video because in your instructions you clearly said to make sure I have all the equipment on to make sure I'm not gonna get hit. And also, I am very tired, drunk. <laughs> I don't think me with a whip right now is a is a what is is a is probably like some kind of law for this like uh, whipping under the influence. <laughs> I am definitely gonna, this is gonna be featured in a video for sure. I don't know how and I don't know when, but the bull whip is coming out, so look forward to that. All right, next one up we've got comes from Sir Sky Japri. You think I'm lying? Huh. <laughs> His name is Sir Japri. Let's pop it open and see what we got in here though. Damn. <laughs> all I saw oh. was that, and then all I saw was this. <laughs> Let's see what's inside of here. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks like a license plate frame or something, maybe? Oh. Oh, okay. That is, oh. <laughs> All the shotting gun up there. That is sick. Oh, wait a minute. I there's think two there's two of, two of them. Yeah. All right. So it came with two freaking license plate frames. One. Oh, that is sick. I don't know what that says, but dope. And then right here, we got these freaking sky pandas. Oh, they're sweet. Hi, Marcus. Big fan. Hope you like these. And it says, at Sky on Twitter, I'm assuming. Oh, I think it's some more stickers. Oh, oh. these are 
are stickers. These are freaking air fresheners. I got the Renegon freaking air freshener. Well, then right there, we got the freaking Aka the Ambu Black Ops mask air freshener as well. All right, so we got some not safe for work. Safe for me. <laughs> <laughs> we got some freaking the Rona toilet paper. <laughs> then we got the Kakashi with the freaking Ambu and the shotting gun. <laughs> My life in a single sticker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna find out what one of these air fresheners smells like. Let's just go for it. Right up in there. What? What? It's like pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know if this is a company necessarily, but we got a name up there. I don't know if that'll help out at all, but it seems like maybe a company sent this over or just somebody in the rep pack. So thank you so much. Either way. Do not bend. Don't bend it. Don't do it. Let's do that job for me. <laughs> this one came from Eric Rodriguez. Sorry, unfortunately, it looks like they bent what you said not to bend. But let's see what we got in here anyway. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> that is so sick. <laughs> That is like a maximum frustration in ADHD's world. It's wow. so sick. Right here says life underscore is underscore weird underscore mate. We got realism and we got somewhat anime. <laughs> That is so sick. Our rep pack forever. That was, I wasn't gonna save that for the freaking fan mail, but that was just too dope. <laughs> one looks stickums. It's from, please do not shake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one came from Matthew Conahay. That is the oh. best name ever. His name is Matthew York. But you know what's so great about that? Is the last three letters of his first name make us say New York. Matthew Nork. Matthew Nork. Matthew Nork. But look at what he's spelling out. <laughs> You're so tired. <laughs> All right, let's see what Matthew said. Let's check this out. Oh, we got a Nicktoons. What is it? A Nicktoons magazine? But it's like it doesn't say Nicktoons. It's Nicktoons magazines presents Nicktoons. That's 5.95. Damn, back when Butch Hartman was on a thumbnail and it wasn't on YouTube. <laughs> Butch Hartman, man, that is one of my dream collabs. If you guys can hit up Butch Hartman and say, hey, do a cartoon theme contest challenge with ADHD's world. Something like that. Maybe after this whole virus is over, I can go against Butch Hartman himself. That'd be crazy, right? And do what, like fight? No, what if we try to guess trivia on his own shows? <laughs> So That'd we do be a, really interesting. like a Danny Phantom Fairly Odd Parents trivia competition. Me versus Bush Hartman. That would be legendary. I mean, if you guys want to see a video on life, I literally went through an entire freaking collection, an entire box filled with Nickelodeon magazines that I bought. So go check that out on life. Then inside of here. Okay, we got to Parker and Marcus. Let's see what we got here. We got a ring. That's probably for you, that ring. <laughs> You're the ring guy. <laughs> and then we got, oh, dude, look at all these shuppets. <laughs> we got some cards. That is freaking sweet. We got some McDonald's promo. There was a lot and a, and a bunch of freaking code cards. So. I definitely am not going to use these, so there's one person out there that can use them. All right, grab what you can get. There we go, we're done. This one came from Danny. No last name, no nothing else, just Danny. Oh, dude, it came with the freaking Lakers jersey. Master Mark. That's me. Maker's Mark. You read, you read anyway you want to read, really. I right, master. <laughs> we got Maker Mark, and then down here, <laughs> this means everything. <laughs> this one's vanilla bean is so nella. <laughs> All right, inside of here, we got some Damn. some custom frozen booster packs. <laughs> what I'm going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to save these for ADHD's life. These are three custom packs. If you guys aren't subscribed, go check out ADHD's life. I'm going to open up some of the custom packs you guys sent over there in some of the Pokemon openings or maybe like a fan mail pack opening. There's enough of them, but going to save these for life for sure. Thank you so much. This came from Ricardo Riviera. All right, guys, I am getting very, very loosely tired now. I thought like as I did this, I would get more awake as I went, but it's not how this is working. <laughs> but you guys are making me feel a lot better because check out the fan art right here. We got freaking SpongeBob versus Reptar with a pizza. Then over here, we got the freaking Reptars about the classic Rugrats text on top. Then over here, we got two King Reptars, but this one's got some ice, baby, right there with the crown. And then over here, we got Reptar doing two Rasengans, it looks like, or either that or those are really, really great pom-poms. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the Velociraptor King Reptar. All right, and then over here, some what seemingly looks like high quality art based off of the type of paper and stuff like that. So let's pull it out. This one right here says, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> this one's from Harmony Dietrichs or Detrick. This one is freaking sick. Thank you so much, Harmony. These are freaking, oh dude, check it out. Better look a picture of me. <laughs> But you know what that is, though? You know what this thumbnail is? Oh, is that what we're in that car? Yeah. Oh my god, we're in the car dying. <laughs> yeah, this is the car thumbnail. All right, shout out to the person that freaking remembered that thumbnail, because I remembered it too. Oh, jeez. Oh, that is wicked, dude. That is also by Harmony. That is, I'm going to get away from it. It's all sweat on it. <laughs> that is sick. And then down here, we got Froggy going, ah! 
<laughs> right before Reptar steps on him. And then over here, we got the freaking full-size King Reptar right here. This is also by Harmony. It's got King Reptar, the freaking classic building background. And then down here, hey, Parker, I'm in beast mode. <laughs> and then over here, we got, this one's by Chloe Taylor. And that is so freaking cool. We got the Krusty Krab right there. We got SpongeBob and Patrick asking Reptar for a ride. That is not a bad idea. That is probably the coolest ride you could ever go on. You got Naruto over here eating the ramen. We got all types of references. Parker, I just want to talk. <laughs> no, you're suicidal. Marcus, no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harmony and Chloe. That is absolutely unbelievable and definitely something that has to get framed, especially this one right here. That is freaking sweet. Thank you so much, Chloe. They're looking for Aaron Fleming. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got in the Nella folder. Okay. Already Ooh. a good sign. <laughs> Let's check that out for sure real quick. We got the Leaf Village symbol right there. What do we got inside? Oh, dude. That is Damn. sick. It's a replica of the Naruto Ninja Stars. Like, you know how they actually look? Yeah. We have a real life Naruto Ninja Star. We got a shirt. A shirt of some... Or not a shirt. I don't know what this is. We'll find out. It's a pillowcase. <laughs> that is dope. We got Team 7 right there when they were younger. We got classic Sasuke being sick. We got classic Sakura just being happy to be there. And we got Naruto just, just hating. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't have these. The Valentine's Day Krabby Patties. I actually have almost every variation of the gummy Krabby Patties, except for the one pound one they made in 2014 and, and this one. But now that I have this one, I'll do the one pound one. So thank you so much. This one came from Eris, as I said. So thank you so much, Eris, for all the awesome stuff. Oh, dude, and some of Broken Bonds Blister Patties. <laughs> You know what, dude? You could pull anything from the set. What is the Charizard? Is it a Dollar Tree bag? You can say about anything, though. <laughs> like, who knows? So we're gonna open this again on ADHD's life, but thank you so much. I think if you like, really try, you could probably use this as a pillow. Still wouldn't. Still pandemic out. <laughs> <laughs> the next one we got right here, let's check it out. <sighs> okay, we got the Amazon gift wrapping. What if, What would you guess based off these sheets? Funko Pops are damaging. They're pretty hard, though, so I don't think they're yeah, Funko Pops. Yeah, yeah. It is a little, pretty heavy, huh? Funko Pops and protectors. Ooh. Let's find out. Okay, so here we go. Let's pop over the first one. Let's see what we got inside this box. A lot of string. <laughs> All right, let's see what the first one is. <laughs> oh, imagination. Sick. Dude, we were right. It's in a pop protector. So that is a pop. The freaking imagination SpongeBob. Let's check out what's in this one. All right, random guess. I'm going to say SpongeBob from... Patrick with nail on the run. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're saying it's Patrick with a nail on his head? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it is. Oh, it's a hard stack. Oh, Damn. okay. That was the one you're tapping. So like that. I'm like, that yeah. doesn't explain the sound. That is so sick. Thank you so much. So a freaking hard pop stack. This is like 15 bucks. So thank you so much. And a freaking Funko Pop. You do not need to spend that much. So thank you so much. I mean, all of you guys. I mean, Daniel, Zach, you guys, like all of you guys are sitting like just this crazy stuff. Thank you guys so, so much. Cause I'm just a dude who just, it just likes making you guys laugh. So thank you so much if you want to send anything. We got John Wick. John Wick popping here. Damn. But that is sick. John Wick with a dog. It's not just John Wick. It's John Wick with a dog. That's the only kind of John Wick I know. You know his dog killed somebody with an even smaller dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no name on this one though, but thank you whoever sent this. Really appreciate it. I got John Wick. Not just John Wick. Got John Dog. <laughs> Next one goes from Dominique Chavez. Let's see what we got here. Thank you, Dominique, so, so much. And the real reason why being tired is bothering me, if this was any other day, it wouldn't bother me as much. I just pushed through it and ignored it, but this is fan mail. This is for you guys. So I like to put as much of myself out there for these videos as possible, but it's just, it just just felt a rough day up. <laughs> it's just a rough day. Inside of here though, what do we got? Thank you so much, Dominic. Dude, look at this thing. I don't know what it is. I kind of... But it's interesting. Look at that. Go. They're one of those ornaments they sell at Home Goods. But check that out. It's supposed to be our Rasengan. Oh. <laughs> So do you have to tie it to your hand or do you just put it on there? Let's see how it looks. Go to the bathroom. You know what that means. It means I have to go to the bathroom. Don't do the light off though because that might not come back out. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and turn it off. Here we go. Hey. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. No, for real though, let's check this thing out. Oh, that's Ooh. sick, dude. <laughs> we got a little homemade Rasengan. So thank you so much. That is freaking awesome, dude. There's all these like little wires and stuff that are popping out, but I didn't get shocked. I'm just gonna keep using it and in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one up we got comes from the wife. I didn't know you were married. 
<laughs> I didn't know I was either. <laughs> but it turns out I am. Blaine's where all that money for alimony's going. <laughs> Let's see what we got here though. A little bag, a little dime bag we got with the... This is from Brandon in San Marcos. Thank you so much. I went to a mission there. Probably wasn't your house, but there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the mission was really tough though. It's like, it was really tough. What was it? Some of the teachers said it was like something no one could do. What was the word? A mission? Impossible? <laughs> That's one good shit was. Okay. Feel like feel shame that I got that I got got like that. <laughs> All right, we got a box, but it's Japanese or Chinese or Korean. <laughs> Some kind of language I don't speak. This is a freaking retractable baton, and I definitely want to use this one. But the fact that it's already primed in the bag scares me, and I do not think I can today, guys. But thank you so so much. Like I really appreciate it. Next one's from Amazon as well. Let's see what it is. Okay, we got a package inside of the package. This one comes from my Brandon as well. So thank you, Brandon, for all the stuff you sent over. Oh, yes. Do we have a Tac Force knife? Usually their knives are pretty freaking sick looking. So let's see what we got inside here, though. Oh, that is a beefy one, dude. No way. This is a Karambit. Oh. <laughs> That is a sick freaking like pocket cram bit. Does oh, that yeah. have the, your uh, your dashboard or something like that? It's also I mean, it's foldable. Yes, extremely foldable. <laughs> Not just that, extremely sharp. Thank you so much, Brandon. All right, I think we have one more item that I'm pretty sure is gonna end up being a weapon based off the weight of it. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out there with that one when we get to the last item. All right, this one right here is from Emerald Coast Gifts and More. <laughs> what is this? It's a SpongeBob sponge. It's styrofoam. I'm probably gonna take it out because it just did that in just a short amount of time. But thank you so much. That is freaking sweet. It's a giant SpongeBob brick. <laughs> oh, it's a SpongeBob popsicle. So thank you so much for taking the time to make this. It is a SpongeBob popsicle. He said there should be a oh, stick look. in there. Yeah, there's a stick in there as well to put right in there to make it a full size one. <laughs> That is freaking sweet. Gonna definitely have to dust that thing off. Thank you so much, Lorenzo. All right, the last one came from Andrew Rios. I knew what this one was, but I needed to show you guys it last because this is the ultimate. You know how I like ass nuculars? Yes. This is the ultimate in ass nuculars. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the energy sword. It's like an energy sword. Except where you punch, you take their energy. <laughs> We're gonna go outside and test this thing out. It is freaking two big blades in the front, along with some cornered brass nucklers at the end. This is the ultimate. And ass knuckles. Let's see what kind of punch these thing can do. Very, very tired punch. But I think it's still gonna do some damage with this thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So next, we're gonna be trying out the karambit. Let's do it. All right, ready? I'm, I'm gonna ready. try and go for an uppercut. This is what you do with the karambit. You can have a whole fighting style built around it where you can use this to grip. But main thing is it's a freaking claw that can slice through anything. Let's see if I was gonna gut something. All right, gonna go for a gun. The first one. And I'm just gonna go ham on the other one. All right. There we go. Ooh. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Dude, that is amazing smelling. That is, that is intoxicating. Even the, cam even the camera's drooling. <laughs> it's inebriating. <laughs> that is incredible. Check out the slice between the slice. Oh my God. <laughs> but now let's set up that last item. Are you ready for the ultimate in ass nucleus? Yes. <laughs> I'm so ready for ass <laughs> If this is an asteroid, it could go through the entire Milky Way. All nine planets in just one straight line. There's a lot wrong with that statement, but let's just, <laughs> let's just go, keep going. Is it or is it not? You tell me what Pluto is. It's a dwarf. It's not even a planet. But they rechange it to being a planet. They can, but they haven't. But they did once. And they did it again. Change it's not a planet. <laughs> Here we go. Ass nuculars. Hopefully my wrist can withstand this. Three, two, one. Oh! oh man. Get over here! I'm not done. Oh! oh, oh. I'm still not done. Oh! We continue not to be done. Yes, I am still far from being done. Oh! <laughs> Now I'm finished with you. All right, that was freaking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Check out this video on your screen. Right here is there. I'm not gonna explain it. Recommend it. Check it out. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did, please check that video out. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack. I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios. Let's clean up. I got no pack. <laughs>